Hey everybody, it's Jolyn O'Black here doing a little bit of a coffee break a different way today. Um, just so you know who I am, um, I am a marketing solutionista, so my, my business is built around um, helping you understand how to use um, online and digital marketing um, elements in your business, basically demolishing yourself down and any fear you have uh, with marketing and managing these types of tools because it can be a tech nightmare if it's not you know something you're already comfortable with learning and implementing in your business so today what I wanted to do is do a really quick tutorial for you on Camtasia um, I purchased um, a flash sale off uh, item from somebody uh, that I follow because uh, I do a lot of Periscope sessions um, and I wanted something custom for my uh, YouTube channel. I wanted to repurpose that content and have it out on YouTube. So there's so many things you can do in Periscope and, re and repurpose it. You can do videos, you can do blog posts, um, you can do so many things with the content, but I wanted a branded look to my, my channel and to these videos. So Laura Hassan is someone who I follow who does tons of great things online and she builds people's digital homes online and she does it brilliantly um, and she did a flash sale on Periscope and I purchased this amazing cover which is branded perfectly has my call to action my logo my my uh, links so you can get a hold of me on social media and on Periscope and she gave a really cool tip sheet that went along with it in terms of how to put everything together uh, but I thought you know for those less techie people who don't understand how to put all the elements together I would do a little quick video um, I have a PC so I use Camtasia but there are other products out there that you can use um, there's Screencast-O-Matic um, I know people use uh, Jing uh, so however you want to do it is fine but uh, my preferred video editing software is Camtasia and it's definitely worth the price uh, for what it does so I'm not going to go into all the functionality of Camtasia today uh, but I'm just going to show you how to use um, these two elements together so the first step after you do your periscope broadcast is to find that broadcast within 24 hours um, and actually get a copy uh, a video copy and you're going to want to uh, capture that with Camtasia Camtasia has an option to record the screen so you basically want to uh, find your video and there's a couple ways you can do that uh, and record it and then save that to Dropbox or to some other file share site where you can go back and, and do this type of editing later okay so you definitely want to do this within that 24 hour period because Periscope will get rid of your replay uh, in 24 hours. So a couple ways you can do it. First way you can do it is go to your Twitter. If you shared out your broadcast as you started it or if you shared it out after you, you completed the broadcast to Twitter, you'll have a link that you can click on. So I, I posted this one. It was one I did last night. Um, it wasn't the best, but it was sort of me talking to myself and maybe one other person um, just asking questions about Periscope, what people want to know on Periscope, what Periscope tips they have, um, broadcasts they love, broadcasts they hate. So I was working on a, I'm working on a blog post, and that was basically my call for um, some people to, to send some information to me. So I'm going to redo that this morning, actually, after I do this. So basically, I shared this out. And so here is a custom link which will expire in 24 hours. So you could click on this link um, and you can actually view the replay on your PC. Uh, when you do that, you're gonna click on this little play button and as you can see, your video is gonna start. So what you're gonna wanna do is bring up Camtasia. You're gonna click on the option to record your screen and this little control panel will come up. Um, and you're just basically gonna let it run and record just this portion. For me, that's the only portion I gather because my template only allows this much space. And once you get that recorded and saved to Dropbox or Google Drive or wherever, um, you can pull that into Camtasia. Another way to do it, there's a really cool website that I just came across. Um, I'm in a group called the Periscopers Group. It's on Facebook. You can go to per the periscopersgroup.com. Um, and we all share tons of tips and resources. Um, and this little website here is called Quickscope. It basically will keep all the scopes for an hour or for a 24 hour period and you can find all the scopes and watch it to your delight on your laptop. Uh, so you can go to the live tab, but if you want to search for your Periscope handle or say a friend's even if you're just kind of curious, you're going to type in your username. Mine's Joe Lino. Um, there's a lot of Joe Lins in the world. I didn't know that. <laughs> so here's my channel. It's going to give you a couple of stats, you know, how many people I'm following, uh, what my score is, which is my hearts, how many hearts, I need more hearts. Um, and there's my picture, you know, being sassy. Uh, and it'll, it'll list all your streams. So if you did five in one 24-hour period, they're all going to be here. So what you could do is click on that scope, 
and it's really cool because it brings up your scope you can record this part it shows you exactly who was on your scope so if you want to follow them and say hey you know thank you for being on my periscope you can actually do that um, and if you have um, comments that come up you can you can record those as well it really depends on what your screen um, template looks like so if you have the space to do that you could do that but if you were just to record that this, this part you would be fine right uh, so you can do it that way there's another way to do it you can pull it up on your phone um, and connect your iPhone to your computer with a, an app called the reflector app and you can look for that online um, and it basically mirrors everything that's happening on your iPhone on your PC so then you can use Camtasia to record the replay you just pull it up on Periscope and it reflects it on your screen and you can record that so there's three different ways to repurpose your content and videos and get that content back into Camtasia. So however you end up doing it, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. Just get it done. And then bring in your elements. You're going to import your media. So you're going to find your cover. You're going to also um, uh, import your cover. Um, and this also allows you to import in from Google Drive, which is great if you store your assets there. So basically, now that I have my two assets here that I want to put together, um, I'm going to drag down my first level, which is going to be my cover. That's going to be uh, the first layer. So everything's going to play over that. And you're basically going to want to extend that out onto your timeline. And it's got to match the duration of your video. Okay, so now that I've got my template up, I now want to drag down, just basically drag and drop my video. Okay, so you can see the length of the video. And because you're in Camtasia, you can actually edit this. I know for a fact that when I recorded this, I, it went really long beyond my broadcast. So I know that I have to come back in here and trim this down to just my broadcast because otherwise people are going to be watching 10 minutes of nothing on my screen. But once you drag this in, what you want to do is take a look at your template. Um, if you wanted, if I wanted to forget the iPhone, I could make this a little bit bigger and just have it playing within here. Um, that's an option. Or I just click and drag really easy to do this and I want to match exactly the size of the iPhone and I'm I have an iPhone so that's why this image is there I'm sure you could get it done differently if you were an Android person but so I'm gonna just make sure this folds down here all right so now I have my video in my template uh, and once I actually trim this down so that it's no, you know, there's no more fluff at the end of this and it's a really short, concise video, um, I'm going to be able to produce this and share it, which is basically Camtasia's way of putting all these design and, and audio and, vi and video elements together. And then I'm going to be able to put that on my, my channel. And I also have a very customized um, uh, thumbnail that, sh that Laura also put together for me that I'm going to then put that editing and those two things together on YouTube. Um, and you can also probably do that here too. So more than one way to do it, but that's a very quick and dirty way of adding these two elements together, resizing them. Um, and then you would click the produce and share button when you're done with your broad, when you're done with your editing and you're going to choose a number of different options. You can share it to screencast. You can share it right to your Google drive. Um, if you wanted a final version on Google to save it and then upload from there to YouTube, you could do that. You can share directly to YouTube. Um, I don't necessarily do that because for me, I really want to add additional edit editing options and I, I want to just do it the old fashioned way. So I don't want to share anything directly until I get ready to do that and add in other elements. Um, so I do it as MP4 up to 10, or 1080 because that gives me better visual options for the end result of my video. So I'm not going to finish doing this because I have some editing to do, but um, I just wanted to show you how you could put these two elements together. So. If you want to follow me, you've got your, the information here. I do other periscopes. I do coffee breaks where I kind of bring up a topic and we kind of just hang out drinking coffee or sometimes at night if I do it, it's we're drinking wine. Um, just to learn more about you, your business, how I can help you. And then I also share tech tips, marketing tips. Um, so, you know, I try to have some things planned out for the week, but sometimes I just am spontaneous and say, okay, I have this thought and I go on um, Periscope. 
Uh, so if you want to follow me there for more marketing tips, I, I have a couple of things that I'm going to be announcing that are going to be beneficial to you that are going to be available soon. So I'd love to follow you. I'd love to watch your scopes and learn from you. And if you have any ideas for um, my blog post, which is all about you know tips for Periscope, how other people are using it, how people in other industries are using it to promote their business or their, their nonprofit or their charities, uh, anything like that, I'm interested in highlighting you and your experience um, in doing that in my blog post. So reach out to me uh, if you want to do that. So I'm going to end this broadcast. I hope it was helpful. Uh, if you have questions, you have a couple different ways to find me, and I look forward to seeing you online and on Periscope. Bye.